Well, my project is about measuring the vitamin C content of different orange or like juices, any kind of juices. So what I first started with is filtering out all the juices, but I do not have a picture here to show them. So it goes in this direction if you want to know the process. And what I'm trying to see is if, if once the juice turns black, that measures like it's going, we have this uh, long thing right here, and you measure stuff with it. And we poured in iodine. Does everyone know what iodine? So raise your hand if you do not know. Okay, it's this kind of chemical that <coughs> it would turn stuff black, like I, it touched a paper towel, like a paper napkin, and it and the blotch turned completely black, like kind of grayish black. So what I was trying to see is if I put in some starch indicator and poured in like the iodine, and I came up with all of these. So once it turns like a blackish blue, that's when I took it out, like in this picture, except I overshot that picture, meaning I filled it up too much with iodine. See, there's a good example of what happens. So, if anyone wants a closer look, you can come up and check well, out. Not, not yet. Let's okay. finish your presentation first. Uh, that's all pretty much it. What were your results? Uh, these are my results. Can you explain what we're seeing? Um, you're seeing the content of the or of how much vitamin C is in each one of them. I have labeled all the bottom. Can you read a couple of them? Tangerine juice, orange juice, organic orange juice, apple juice, Tropicana orange juice, orange juice from concentrate, and cranberry juice. Thank you. And so I measured all the contents of vitamin C, and I came up with this. My hypothesis was wrong, though. I didn't know if I thought that the uh, tangerine juice would actually be the most, but it was not. Looks like the most was orange juice. Organic orange juice. So, questions? Ready for questions? Okay. Um, start out with someone, Brianna. Um, why did you think your, it would be tangerine juice? Because of the certain color, because it was darker. I thought that it would have to turn even like, it'd have to turn because tangerine juice looks like a darker color of orange. Mm -hmm. So I thought that the more vitamin C that you would have, the more orange that it would be. And dark orange is just a lot of orange. So, Danny. Why is that, or why did you add that uh, oh. chemical thingy? That? The iodine or whatever it was. It's to check out, I would, I would fill it up to zero or like any other number like near the top. And then what I did is like, I put that on like a little tiny sheet, and then I try until it turned like this kind of color, but like a little bit lighter until the until the iodine stayed in for about 20 seconds, and then whatever I would read the meter, and then I would subtract it by how um, I would put it at the top of on top of that, then I would subtract and see whichever number I came up with, and that would be and then we just and we did three of them. We did three things, and we got up to these numbers. So, um, does any, does you know? What's that other chart? This one? Or mm -hmm. this one? Mm -hmm. That one, the multiplier code. Oh, that's just another chart without all this stuff, but it's not very much based. That's pretty much it. 
So it, it's just that, that track that the colors? Yeah. Okay, last question. Isn't iodine a chemical that cleans water, but if you have too much of it, it, like, kills you? <laughs> Isn't that what iodine does? No. Oh. Iodine, iodine just turns to black. Oh, I thought, yeah, whatever. <laughs> black water. Iodine and You have to use iodine in, like, wine and stuff. Yeah, but it tastes okay. I think, I think we have to move on to the next person on the list. Okay, Thank you. but I wanted people to take a closer look at the chart in case they wanted to check it out. You know what? I'll just read off the various so things. We're gonna, yeah, you can go up and go. Well, we're going to be, be displaying these in about two weeks. So.